Hey Pisces, let's take a look and see what's going on with your individual energy. I did pull some cards. We're going to go ahead and get right to it. Pisces, you have the two of wands. It comes out reverse. I feel like some of you guys, uh, there's some inequality here in a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been waiting for the results of something and maybe the results didn't come back or they didn't come back as expected. Meaning whatever these results are, you did not get the result you were hoping for. I feel like you guys were hoping for one outcome and maybe it was something else that came out. Um, so in terms of inequality, this causes some kind of balance, right? Something's off kilter. I feel like there could be some domestic issues. You could be arguing, fighting with your partner. Fights and arguments, chaos. It specifically says there's something with chaos at the house, where you live, where you reside, your immediate environment, your living quarters. I feel like for some of you guys, you're being advised that you need to take your egos down a notch. I feel like. The cards are saying it could be out of control and you need to tame it, whatever that's about. There's some rifts in a relationship, as I mentioned, but you guys are not considering the needs of your partner. So what your partner needs from you, you're not giving them. As a matter of fact, the cards say you're not even listening to them. What they want is not considered. It doesn't matter. You don't care. When we take a look at the two of wands, it also speaks to you guys having some sort of driving something, you know, waiting for the results. I invested my money in something. I want to invest my money in something. I contacted the people I need to contact to get the results that I want. This could be paternity. This could be you guys trying to invest in a business. I will tell you this, though. There's an opportunity that made its way to you or is making its way to you about finances. Right? I feel like for some of you guys, you're ahead of this journey. You're way ahead of it. For some of you guys, you've already accepted an advance payment. There's something here about an advance payment that was already given. You were given an advance payment to do something with the promise that you were going to live a better life. You were going to go back to school, something like that. And you weren't going to have any issues with money, but you were not promised a perfect partnership. This sounds like an alliance, a deal. Strength reverse comes out for you, Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, and that energy carries on. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys could have made a deal with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. With a partnership, school, something like that. Some of you guys are having some travel issues, all right? We have the strength card that comes out reverse. Some of you guys are specifically dealing with the Leo, or this is the energy. This Leo or you could be overeating something about food here. Somebody is angry. Somebody might need to work on their anger issues. This person or you, Pisces, you're running away from your problems by eating. Whatever is going on here, you or your person or whoever this is, they would rather eat than deal with confrontation, meaning I'm going to eat my problems away. I'm not going to address some of the issues that come up with Pisces. I'm going to turn a blind eye. I'm going to act like I don't see it. I'm in denial. That could be a Leo doing that or Pisces. You could be turning a blind eye to something. The cards are saying that you are not in control of your instincts. But it also speaks to Pisces. You having some issues with your sexual desires and not being able to control them. Whatever that's about. The cards are saying here that there's something about somebody leaving your life. There's a beloved animal. You guys have an animal that's leaving your life. Some of you guys might have a cat, a dog, whatever is a pet to you. This pet could be leaving your life for whatever reason, whatever that's about. Somebody could have stole it. You could have had a Leo steal your dog, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Any of these folks could have stole your dog or your cat. I'm getting that energy. Let me just see something real quick. Yep. We have a Sagittarius or a Cancer that comes up also. Depends on whichever one you're looking at. So, with that, I see that there's a possibility that the, something is going to... You guys are trying to prevail over some kind of issue. The cards are saying that you may not have success at prevailing over this issue. As a matter of fact, you're fighting, you're fighting anger and resentment. This anger and resentment, Pisces, has to do with an older woman... It says that whatever interactions you're having with this older woman or something like that, this person is taking a toll on your health. Something with ill health. Some of you guys may not be feeling well for whatever reasons. 
I feel like you guys are having some money concerns. Somebody gave you an opportunity with the two of wands reversed and there became a rift in a relationship or you got into this because of a rift in a relationship. You tried to do some planning. The planning didn't go well. Some of you guys didn't have the courage to do something. Face somebody could have been a Leo here, right? But it says prevailing over, par up over hardships are going to be an issue for you. Something about an older woman, something about trying to find stability, going back to two of wands, stability, brings me to the four of pentacles where you try and control your finances. Stability, firm foundations, a solid way to make money, a solid way to build an empire, something about building an empire, this is a business mindset. You could be a small business owner, you could be managing a project from home, or you could be working with various study groups. This does speak to groups also. I feel like whatever plan you came up with, no, it, it's not going to work or whatever. That's what it says here. But it says that you get you did get some kind of peace of mind, I would think, because it looks like your health starts to improve. So whatever your health issue is, it looks like you see some progress with it, good progress. I will say that. The cards say here that you guys are clutching gold. Gold keeps coming up in these reads. I got gold bars the other day, gold bars on a boat. Gold bars are coming up again. There's something about clutching gold. The cards are telling you that you're probably trying to save money. But you're also being advised that whatever you make, you need to save half of it. Stop spending. I'm getting this you need to stop spending type of thing from this. This is a desire for long-term security. However... You fear change. Now, why would you fear change in this scenario, especially when you gave this plan? No, it didn't work, but there was still some movement forward. But it's a matter of how. What did you do? Why did the plan go wrong? It's embezzlement that shows up here. There's embezzlement with the four pinnacles. It looks like there could have been a Pisces. Another Pisces or you. A Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo that embezzled some money. Or you are contributing to a money embezzlement somehow. Whatever that's about. So that's why you're being advised to save some of your money because this is going to be found and you're going to need whatever you saved legally. Something like that. Illegal savings. You're going to be asked to explain where your money came from. We have the Queen of Pentacles that comes up. So we know that you're trying to control something with finances. Trying to keep something under control. I know that you guys had a failed plan or whoever this is. Aries Leo Satch had a failed plan. You could literally just be in the middle of this stuff and don't even know it. Because it says here that you're trying to control your finances. Some of you guys have gotten wind or you know that there's something going on with the finances. There's money being embezzled here. There's a Queen of Pentacles. I can look at the Queen of Pentacles from one of two ways. Either you're a victim of sex trafficking or you're a sex worker who is willing. But you provide stability to people that you care about, meaning I'm going to help you. Or there could be another Pisces out there who consulted with a financial mentor, financial advisor. She could be the queen of pentacles. Some of you guys borrowed money or got advice from a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo energy here. This is who you went to for money. Or some of you guys did some other things for money to get some stability. Now, like I was saying before, this is somebody's financial angel, right? Depends on which side of the spectrum you lie. So if you're a pimp, you're going to love this queen of pentacles because she's bringing home the bread. If you happen to have this queen of pentacles in your life and you love her, she's very good to you. Right? So she's about what she does one way or another, like it or not, right? So this is something about an advisor or a mentor. This person could have dark hair. This person could be wealthy. This person is labeled a sex worker or a survivor of sex trafficking. Pisces, we have the temperance card that comes up reverse for you guys. I'm just showing that you're overwhelmed. Bonded to other people. And there's also increasing pressure for you to cope when it comes to a situation. You guys are trying to move forward. But you're involved and caught up in some issues that I see. The cards are saying here that it is absolutely vital for you to deal with some sort of debt that you have. It almost feels like your livelihood depends on it in a sense. 
Some of you guys could, again, be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer energy. You might owe this person some money or something like that. I don't know. What else does Pisces need to know, please? What else does Pisces need to know? This one's going to be quick because I'm, like, almost out of time here. I got to go back in and delete some stuff. I know I can pause it, but I'm like, uh. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Issues with a partnership. Things didn't go the way you wanted them to. You being advised that whatever puffiness is going on in there, you know, with the huh, the I am, the ego, you need to take that down a notch because it's causing a rift in your relationship with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Somebody's resistant. Something about making opportunity. Somebody resisted this deal at first. A couple of, uh, now, Pisces, if you presented this to an Aries Leo Sag, they may have resisted it, or somebody presented this to you, and a few of you resisted this. Some of you guys came up with another way to do something, but it does talk about overindulgence and food and spending, especially when the first card tells us that you need to find a way to make money. You're spending on food and stuff, right? You could be the small business owner. Somebody's taking some, some money that they don't want to be found and they are putting it in a small business. It's embezzlement. Somebody created a small business under an LLC maybe and they started putting money into it. Somebody falsified some paperwork. They put money in an account. This is embezzlement. Somebody may have used somebody else's information to get this done. And somebody may not have disclosed all the details. Somebody's imbalanced about this. They can't heal from it. Cancer or Sag. Show me Pisces. What do they need to know? Pisces, it says something about peace. You are looking for peace and harmony, balance. And that could be why you entertain this plan. All right. Or maybe you expressed your disdain for something. And that's why somebody offered you this opportunity. So this is a sense of well-being, sense of well-being. This deal was supposed to give you well-being, sense of security, which is why you did something. Somebody offered to open up a small business under an LLC and put the extra money in it for an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Leo, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Cancer. Give me more for uh, Pisces, please. We also have here the taming power of the great. The cards are saying here that somebody acted without discipline. I don't know who this is, but somebody was not disciplined. They couldn't concentrate and they did not have a strong character. They did not have the potential needed to complete this task or complete something. So somebody did something because they wanted peace and it looks like they really got a bunch of hell. Like, Enthusiasm, self-expression, inspiring others. This talks to me about communicating with other people to get something done. A positive response. Somebody took advantage of a deal. A positive response to a group of people. Somebody was confident in this. And they successfully shared something. Successfully sharing comes up. Somebody gave out somebody's information. Somebody could have given somebody's information to a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Anybody here? But I'm, I keep getting it under Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Somebody sold information, gave information with the promise of getting something in return. More? Pisces, the turning point. Something about returning to something. This is going to be a start of a new cycle. The right time, regeneration, inevitability, and steady improvement. Some of you guys are trying to recover from this situation, but you have not fully healed is what the cards are saying. That could be because of something that a Cancer or Sagittarius did, possibly. What else do we need to know? I got two minutes left on this thing. You know what? Let me leave that there so I can... Let me see. Which ones do I really want to pull? Because I'm pressed for time. Other things that could come up. Other things that could come up in this scenario under what this plan could be. What could be? What is this plan about? What did Pisces think was going to bring them some peace? Walking away from something. I thought if I thought walking away from something, maybe walking away from something. Like I said, it could be any of these signs here. It could be these energies, these people. Walking away from these people would have made me feel better. 
I abandoned something. I thought abandoning something is the answer. Somebody thought about abandoning something or they did abandon or escape a situation with an older woman who has questionable energy. Give me one more, please. And one more. What else? Narcotics transport. Somebody could have been carrying drugs somewhere. Somebody could have abandoned drugs somewhere. Somebody could have been a narcotics transporter. And whatever's going on, you got abandoned. Or maybe you abandoned it. Or you're thinking. Some of you guys could be thinking of abandoning something. We also see a cross-dressing. All right? Secret cross-dresser. Somebody could be cross-dressing to escape something. Or somebody does not want somebody to know that they're a cross-dresser. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Abandonment. Falls under Leo. Leo, you could have abandoned something. Narcotics, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Street dressing or cross dressing, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Abandoned plans, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody stalking. We also have a stalker here. The stalker could be a Cancer. The stalker, the stalker could be a Sagittarius. Give me more because I only got a minute. All right, 45 seconds. All right. Somebody tried to project something onto you, Pisces. It didn't work. Somebody had a revenge plot. It looks like it failed. Manipulation. Somebody tried to manipulation ma manipulate you into doing something. I believe that's a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo that manipulated you. You're rejecting the projection and thoughts and feelings of a Leo. There's something with a fire, a failed arson attempt. Somebody's looking to see if a fire got started. Mm, I'm out of time. Is there anything else? Major life change? I don't have no time.